And a Chinese-developed artificial intelligence model sparks panic on Wall Street and Silicon Valley, with developers saying it costs far less to train and power. The US president warning it's a much-needed wake-up call. And more on Deep Seek, we're joined by Deepika Giri. She's Associate Vice President and Head of AI Research at IDC APEC. Ms. Giri, uh, that wake-up call uh, that uh, Mr. Trump mentioned, who needs to wake up and what should they wake up to and what should they do once they do wake up? Well, I think, um, you know, uh, what he referred to was in response to the kind of drastic uh, reactions from the Wall Street itself, uh, from investors dumping those stocks of NVIDIA and, you know, thereby uh, depleting a significant market share. But that apart, I think um, there's uh, a very common um, conception that you know, when you need to implement AI or invest in AI or generative AI, there needs to be a huge amount of investment. And uh, these investments could be, you know, to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars, right? And uh, this this deep seek announcement and the way it has come about, I think, has sort of uh, changed that perception a bit. Uh, in the sense that people now know that, okay, I don't need to pay as much as I paid for its competitor earlier on. Um, and I think that's it, that is sort of, you know, uh, started to uh, encourage people to actually ask the question around, okay, do we really need to invest these kind of uh, uh, investments, huge investments, or, you know, do we need to rethink our strategy around how we approach uh, AI? So I think it is definitely a welcome move. It's a it's remarkable, right? Uh, the way they have managed to optimize their algorithms and you know the methodologies they've used and uh, made them more efficient, less uh, compute uh, needed to train uh, them. Uh, Ms. So Ms. I Gary, think it's remarkable. What? Uh, okay, it's remarkable. But uh, for example, Sam Altman has already has a response. He said computing power at the level we've seen so far, requiring that amount of money is necessary. Uh, for anyone wanting to, Chris, or I suppose, to, 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 to take issue with uh, DeepSeek's newest model, will say, for every cent you spend, you will get something in return. What is DeepSeek offering that in no less compromises its product and uh, as something that companies might want to adopt, they will think it's no less than something offered by, say, for example, OpenAI? Have they lost anything? Yeah, so I... Less? Yeah, I, I, no, I think it's a fair question, right? When companies are looking at, we had so many organizations across the globe and specifically in Asia Pac, uh, you know, doing a lot of experimentation with Gen AI in the last 18 to 24 months after ChatGPT came out. And uh, what we found from our research was as much as at least an average of about 27 POCs being done. Um, and out of that, the success rate of those POCs were merely in the range of three. And out of those three POCs, barely a 60% success rate. A POC rate would be, pardon me, very quickly, what is a actually, POC? A POC is generally trying to do a proof of concept to validate a new kind of technology or an innovation. And, um, uh, you know, much to the disappointment of uh, technology buyers, they found that the POC success rates were significantly low, right? And uh, that is because of, you know, they couldn't justify the ROI and uh, the use cases were not very clearly defined. And those were some of the issues, right? And what we also concluded after the POC phase was that what you need is like a very effective, robust AI strategy, right? Which has very robust use cases, what we like to call the super use cases. You want to have AI uh, proof infrastructure as well. Now, coming to the infrastructure point, I think the biggest contributor to the cost of AI training is AI infrastructure, right? The chip itself, and it's scarcely available. It's very expensive. And when you're talking about training large language models, such as the chat GPT, uh, needs so, so much of data and you know billions of parameters that need to be trained, needs a lot of compute. And this compute power and access to compute is well beyond the means of an average enterprise, right? Which means that an average enterprise cannot even dream of building its own large language model. 
And therefore, we can sort of conclude that when you want to build these capabilities, you need, you know, smaller, more flexible models that you can use, adopt to build your own use cases. So, right? and, so and it's wait, really a balance uh, between... Uh, so what DeepSeek is doing, it is in fact just a signpost along a trend that is already happening. So smaller models, a shift to inferencing, yes. a shift to open source, a shift to more targeted, That's delivering true. very specific users for businesses that Use might cases, want to yes. adopt your service. Is this the trend we are Absolutely. already seeing? Absolutely. And, and I think we've been, IDC has been saying this for a while now, we will see the emergence of smaller models specialized models, domain-specific models that will sort of increase the adoption. Uh, on one hand, I think it will bring down the cost of adoption as well. And on the other hand, it will also give access to uh, many more enterprises to innovative technologies like generative AI. So absolutely bang on. And of course, this will also lead, I mean, the way it's progressing, this will lead to the commoditization of AI uh, uh, cap infrastructure capability as well, right? As, as something becomes more easily available, uh, the cost will come down, cost per token will come down, and therefore adoption will be much more, right? There, uh, and the whole uh, myth about whether NVIDIA will be able to sustain or not, maybe, you know, the needs for pre-training or large-scale training will go down. But as adoption increases, you need to use compute to inference, right, for your to drive your use cases. And that is really where you need compute as well. So I don't see the need for compute going down. I think it's just a shift in the way compute will be leveraged and the kinds of compute uh, will change. Oh, thanks for that. Ms. Deepika Giri, Associate Vice President and Head of AI Research at IDC APEC.